The world is hyper competitive. If you're going to be a man who's going to sit and say, I'm just sad, you are always going to lose in competition to men like me. And there has to be losers for there to be winners. I am tired of sympathy. Sympathy doesn't work for anybody. I'm not going to sit here and be sympathetic for people who say they're too sad to try hard and be their best. Guess what? Perhaps I was sad every time I did exactly what I was supposed to do and trained anyway. Perhaps I was afraid when I fought anyway. Perhaps I was tired when I worked anyway. This is how you get ahead in life. I don't have a fucking ounce of sympathy for these people who sit here and say, well, I feel this way, so I can't. Then don't do it. Stay down there. The winners are at the top, and the winners at the top don't give a shit about how they feel. We wake up and we perform regardless of how we feel day after day. So if I'm going to ignore my own feelings, I'm certainly not going to take into consideration anybody else's. Yeah. Why am I going to ignore how I feel and make sure I'm constantly performing regardless, flawlessly, and then sit and go, oh, but he doesn't feel good, so he's allowed to fuck up. No, you are not. You're not allowed to fuck up to your ancestors or to God or to yourself. You have to perform. This is how it, this is what being a man is about. The baseline of masculinity is doing things you don't feel like doing. I can't comment on being a woman because I'm not one. But the baseline of masculinity as a whole is the thing that makes a good man a man is that he does what he doesn't want to do. He doesn't want to work and he works anyway. He doesn't want to go to war and he fights anyway. He doesn't want to get up, he gets up anyway. That's the whole point of it. We didn't want to die in the Titanic. Guess what happened? We died in the Titanic. You can't sit there as a man and say you don't feel like it. You're not allowed to not feel like it. You're supposed to do it anyway, regardless. Yeah. So when a man sits there and says, oh, but you don't understand, I'm struggling with motivation. If you are struggling with the motivation to be a winner, then stay a fucking loser. No problem. Stay yeah. a loser. Don't care. Because in my circle, there's no losers around me. Your energy is disgusting. I find it revolting. I don't like weakness around me, even near me. Even people coming up saying hello to me. If you're depressed, don't even shake my hand. I do not have time for losers on any regard. Winners only. Yeah. I believe the universe is very giving. I think the universe and God himself is very giving. I've yet to meet somebody in my, all my years who is genuinely giving 100% of themselves day after day, doesn't snake anyone, firm handshake, look you in the eye, doesn't lie to nobody, and tries 100%, doesn't give a hit. I've never seen it. Every yeah. single person who doesn't have what they want, there's something in their story that doesn't quite add up. He, I've yet yeah. to see some guy who, have you ever seen a guy who eats right, who trains his ass off, and never misses a gym session ever, not grow? No, ever. No, no. Not ever. what? Not what? A grow. Not grow. Not uh, make ever. It, 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 it's just, that's the way the universe works, right? So if you're truly about it, and you're truly trying your absolute best, you're going to do it. And I, that's what I believe. I believe the universe is extremely giving. So when I meet somebody and they go, I really wanted this and I don't have that. So you didn't need it. So the world doesn't care. The world has never given a shit about sad men. So if you're going to sit there and self-diagnose yourself as a sad man, you're going to have a shit life and nobody's ever going to give a fuck and you're going to perpetually lose forever. And that is your decision. I am so scared of being that person. The idea of that terrifies me to the point where I don't even want to accept that as a reality that can possibly exist. I don't give a shit what happens to me in my life. I don't care how bad it is. I don't care if the worst, most heinous things I could possibly imagine happening. I know that my sadness, my depression will be temporary because I will never stay on this. It's against my creed, it's not my view. Yeah, and I think that's the whole message of Strike It Big and what we try and put across to the younger generation. Absolutely, and, and this right. is the thing, and, and this is the thing about society and MSM and all this garbage and the Matrix. They try and convince you, don't worry if you're being a loser because people feel sorry for you and you'll get attention for it and you'll be okay in the end. And it's all this temporary fixes of dopamine by saying, I'm sad, don't worry, bro, you'll be okay. But it's bullshit. They don't care long term. The world doesn't care. Nobody really cares. Chicks don't care. Business doesn't care. You are going to fail. I think the universe is absolutely and utterly given. I've never seen anybody dedicate themselves to something completely. Okay. I've never seen somebody eat right, go to the gym every day, train really hard, and not finish. I've literally never seen it. The universe is extremely giving. If you actually pride, and you actually want it, and you're actually not making excuses, lying, talking shit, you're going to get what you want. So when I see people who don't have what they want, I consider them losers. I don't believe in the societal paradigms in which they have tried to construct this idea of happiness. I don't believe or subscribe to the way that happy and sad is currently un understood by the masses of the population. I think if you are anything less than absolutely distraught, you are happy, you're a version of happy. It's like saying gray is a version of black, right? No matter how light the gray is, you can still call it a version of black. I don't care how I feel. Yeah. I don't care if I feel happy or sad. It doesn't really affect what I do each day. I do the exact same things. I act the exact same way. I, it does, I don't care. Yeah. I, it does, I, does, I don't put weight 
to the significance of the emotion. So I always consider myself a happy person, but if I woke up and I was slightly less happy one day than another, it wouldn't affect anything I do and I wouldn't put any relevance to it. I'm, yeah, hu yeah. I'm human and that's life. And so yeah, am I any happier now that I have hundreds of millions of dollars than before I was broke? Yeah. Not really, but I was never unhappy. You want to feel happy inside of yourself. And you want to feel content and you want yeah. to feel stable inside of yourself. You need to live true to God. And I'm not saying you can't drink a little bit of alcohol or not party or not have a little bit of fun. You have to be a good person. Because I've decided to become this man. It's the same for absolutely every single one of you at home. If you want it, you can have it. If, you, if you're sitting there saying, oh, but I tried my best and I still didn't get it. You're lying. You didn't try your best. That is a fucking lie. The universe gives it to everybody who genuinely tries. And I know that to be a fact because this world's competitive. We're all competing against each other. And the majority of people don't try. Like, I've, I've achieved this amazing life, and I've tried very, very hard. But it could have been harder. I mean, was it that hard? About 86% hard. It wasn't 100% hard. Why? Because the competition's zero. Everyone is a fucking loser. Yep. It's amazing to me. Everyone's a loser. I can say to somebody, listen, I'll make you a millionaire. Do this. Oh, yeah, but, you know, the kids are home from school now. And that's it. They're done. And then they'll sit and go, oh, I really wish I had some money. You are a loser. The fact that you will sit there and self-analyze yourself to determine how happy you are out of a score of 100 is already a mental failure. Mm. That's a failure. You should be big. You yeah. shouldn't cross your mind. The fact you have time to sit there and go, how happy am I today? Oh, I'm only this much. Maybe I should be happier. That, that, that's already a mess up. The second thing is, and this is the truth, most of you, in fact, the large majority of you, don't deserve to be happy. Why? Because they haven't done the work it requires to be happy. You're not a man of genuine excellence in every human metric. You don't deserve to be happy. You're sitting at your computer with your board ape and your NFTs and $4 million, but you're fat and you're boring and you stink and you expect yourself to be happy. You don't deserve to be happy. You don't deserve it. You haven't worked for it. Beauty lies on top of the mountain, my friends. You have to climb it. You have to get all the way up there to see the peak and it's amazing view. Let me tell you something. I'm happy because all I've done is suffer. That's all I've ever done is suffer. This is how I got here. Suffer. My life's been nothing but suffering and trauma. That's how I got here. That's why my that's why my worldview is so brilliant. That's how I can wake up and as long as no one has a gun to my head, I am happy because I have suffered. You ladies and gentlemen haven't suffered enough if you haven't suffered you're never going to be happy happiness lies atop a mountain if it's just laying all over the floor and anyone can pick it up it has no value people's entire mental model is skewed look you're a crypto guy right you believe in nft nfts the whole point of them is that there's one it's the scarcity that provides the value if things are not scarce there's no value yeah right so it doesn't matter what it is it doesn't matter if it's financial it doesn't matter if it's even a good body right the fact that a guy has big arms the reason that has value is because it's rare if every dude naturally had big arms by the default, it wouldn't have a value life is depressing yeah. i say yeah. this to people i'm depressed yeah. well life's depressing you're getting right. older you're gonna die you know there's a whole bunch of people with a bunch more money than you welcome to the fucking real world life's depressing are you a bitch you're gonna cry about it you're gonna do something about it. like life is depressing who told us Tell me where it says in the human handbook that we're supposed to be happy all of the time. Right. We're not okay. supposed to be happy. We're supposed to survive. Now, if you're a man, you can survive even if you're miserable. I say this all the time. Give me depression. You wouldn't even know it. This right. is what pisses them off. Because they're like, oh yeah, you wouldn't be able to function. I guarantee I can still drive my Lambo and fuck women. I guarantee you.